How to apply multiple YAML files at once on Kubernetes, K8S or OpenShift OCP with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about Ansible module k 8 S and Ansible Lookup Plugin FileGlob. The full name is Kubernetes.core.k8s, which means that is part of a collection of modules of Ansible to interact with Kubernetes and OpenShift cluster. It manages Kubernetes k8s object. Plugins are a way to extend the Ansible functionality. With Lookup plugin specifically, you can load variable or template with information from external sources. The full name is ansible.builtin.fileglobe. It's part of Ansible core and is included in all Ansible installation. The purpose of the Lookup plugin is to list file matching a pattern. Parameters of the K8S module. There is a long list. Let me summarize the useful for this use case. Most parameters are very generic and allow you to combine for many use cases. The name and namespace specify object name and object namespace. They are useful to create, delete, or discover an object without providing a full resource definition. The API underscore version parameter specifies the Kubernetes API version, default v1. The state, like for other modules, determines if an object should be created, present option, updated, patched option, or deleted, absent option. The definition parameter allows you to provide a valid YAML definition directly in line or if you prefer to specify a file, use the src parameter to provide a path to a file containing a valid YAML definition. Now let's wrap together in a demo and I'm going to show you how to apply multiple YAML files at once on Kubernetes, K8S or OpenShift OCP with Ansible Playbook. I'm going to combine the K8S module with the FileGlobe lookup plugin to be able to process multiple YAML files. Are you ready? Let's have fun! Welcome to my editor. First of all, I would like to create one example namespace so I create a YAML namespace definition. This is a standard one for Kubernetes, so API version 1, metadata, name, example for a namespace. After a namespace, I would like to create a, a pod. So this is a standard definition of Kubernetes pod. As you can see, this is Nginx web server that expose port 80, the standard web port. And after creating a pod, I would like to create a service. So this is a standard service definition that uh, define uh, what is the TCP port that we need for our web server. And that's all. Now I would like to combine all these uh, standard Kubernetes file with Ansible that is good to automate. Let's see the rock and roll. Everything is wrapped out inside a folder called devs, means definitions. Great! Let the fun begin. First of all, let's start a new Ansible playbook document, completely empty. Free dash, yes, is a YAML document. Then uh, give it a name of the playbook, uh, no, at the play, in this case, k8s demo, 
executed by localhost and we disable the system fact gathering they are useless so let's disable and the connection must be local on the task list only one name apply k8s resources and uh, let me spell it out in the right way yes with c resources here we go uh, ansible module kubernetes dot core dot k8s only one parameter definition in this case uh, that i would like to combine with a lookup plugin oh basically i need uh, the lookup plugin name template because uh, I would like to read each file as a template and uh, let me populate with item this is uh, like a loop one by one on the file that we saw just before and let me also pass this uh, as a yaml file with a pipe from yaml filter and that's it so basically ansible is going to combine each file one by one and uh, send it to kubernetes well which file with file glob let me define the exact file list that we need it so my file is on un uh, under devs folder and let's start creating a namespace my namespace then secondly what we need oh a pod so my pod definition dot yaml and thirdly uh, i'm able to create uh, a service so under devs i have my service dot yaml did you see it's so easy to interact with uh, kubernetes with ansible and uh, why i didn't use a star dot yaml well it will take from alphabetical order and it creates some problem if you don't have a namespace created no okay so feel free to customize the file list as much as you want and also the definition uh, of your resources and that's it let's move on to the terminal to see it in action welcome to my openshift cluster first of all let me connect uh, via web interface uh, cube admin and my password as you can see from the dashboard, I have plenty of projects here, but let me search it out for my example project. No project found. So now let's move on to the terminal and see the code result. Let's the fun begin. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me introduce my code ready openshift cluster that is running right now using crc start i have also the login to my openshift cluster let me connect with user code cube admin to this api endpoint and here we are i'm using project default so let me switch it out to project example and as expected project example does not exist so let me make it more explicit right now let me try to get the pod under the namespace example i'm expecting no pod because namespace doesn't exist and that's it same story for the service inside the namespace example no resources found cool now let's create it with ansible playbook so let me execute with ansible dash playbook under kubernetes directory multiple yaml definition wow one by one it processes all my yaml definition first namespace pod and service everything got a change status which means some operation were performed if i'm running again i'm getting okay status so i'm expecting everything is in order how could i check it out well openshift project example and now the project exists what a magic oh let me 
deep dive. So OC get pod dash dash namespace equal example. And we have Nginx running. Wow, great. What about the service? OC get service dash dash namespace equal example. And great, we have Nginx service uh, running. Great. So now you know how you could combine multiple YAML definition and automate with Ansible. This is so powerful. Can you imagine how much time you can save in your day-to-day -day job? And Ansible is a standard language, so everybody can understand and use it. Back on the UI. I'm able, this time I'm expecting a different uh, result uh, if I'm browsing on the project. And yes, I have an example project. If I'm scrolling down in the inventory, I'm able to see that there is uh, one service and one pod. So let me connect to the services. Nginx Dex service is running. Perfect. Here we go. Wow, I have also the service port. Uh, and what about the pods? Yay! I have Nginx currently running. If I'm deep dive on this six minutes ago, Nginx 1.21.6, exactly the same of my YAML definition. What about the logs? Let me use the row and yay! It's running! My Nginx is accepting connection. Good job, Ansible! Now you know how to apply multiple YAML files at once on Kubernetes, KHS and OCP OpenShift with Ansible using KHS Ansible module and FileGlobe lookup plugin. Thank you for watching. See us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot and have a bright day. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.